ask any tourist or local, and they would immediately suggest the Mascara Festival. Chicken in a Sal and Calais Delicious Cheesecakes are the top three experiences that shouldn't be missed when visiting the City of Smiles. Of course, these are the highlights of booming Macallan, but there is more that meets the eye. Something unique and one of a kind. We're talking about glass, and these collections are not just ordinary ornaments. These are vintage, beautiful, and expensive glasses. Located in the last barangay before entering the city of Baco, the Vintage Glasses Museum is far by the only gallery in the Philippines that showcase an interesting collection of more than 3,000 glass pieces, dinnerware, Victorian lamps, and decorative articles gathered by Tomas Claridad Casiano or Tomiko during his 20-year stay in the United States as a floral designer in the prestigious Beverly Hills in California. Today, his collection is making Barangay Sumag stand out as yet another destination, not only in Bacolod, but in Negros Occidental. The gallery was created because his collection could no longer fit in his house. Its design is reminiscent of a La Guerta, or garden market in Spanish. Tomiko's vision is to share to the community his priceless collection and to promote local art. The two-story museum, which was inaugurated on December 12, 2012, houses an intricate mix of Tomiko's passion, including colored glasses made during the Depression years in the United States in use of green, red, pink, amber, yellow, ruby and fire, aquamarine, cobalt blue, and delphite, or opaque blue glass made popular by the Jeanette Glass Company in the 1920s. Also on the inside are opalescent glasses that incorporate more than one color during its creation. There are also carnival glasses which are pressed or molded into a certain pattern that emits an iridescent surface shimmer by using metallic salts while the glass is still hot from the pressing. Tomiko is also the proud owner of several jadeite pieces. These are uranium glasses, which are now considered as antiques or retro-era collectibles. He also has opaque, milk-white glasses aptly known as milk. These variants are blown or pressed in a wide variety of shapes first made in Venice in the 16th century. Other colors include pink, yellow, blue, brown, and black. Booming, but call it. Booming, but call it.